guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and today we are going to learn how to draw this cute little guy, Baruni, from Disney's Frozen 2. If you haven't seen it yet, it's available everywhere to see now. So I'm gonna show you how to draw this cute little salamander because he looks so cute and he reminds me of my puppy dog, Rosie. And what we're going to do is I'm gonna show you how to shade with a couple of these Copic markers just to show how, you know, you can indent add a little bit of indentions here and there. But yeah, you'll see that all in the end. So let's get started. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and lay out Bruni's body first. So you're gonna go ahead, and we're just going to make kind of like a big giant sunflower seed. So you're just gonna bring this around like this. His head's cocked to the side. So I'm gonna just round this off, put this down like this. Then, I'm gonna make another circle coming down from this side. So I'm gonna follow down this side, go down, circle back up. Then, I'm gonna actually come back here, make another circle back here, and curl in, and go up and flow in like this. So see where you can start to see the shape of his body forming. And then of course his tail's gonna be back here. So we're gonna jump back here. We're gonna bring that back this part. Bring up this part, go up, round it off, and then back down. Then what I'd like to do is go ahead, jump back here, make one circle here. They're gonna jump over here make a circle up here, and over here, make a circle, go in. So you see, we can start to see his feet and his legs forming. All right, so let's go ahead and start filling in the details. Starting with cute Bruni's little face, you're gonna go all the way up to the top part of this giant sunflower seed, and I just wanna give him an eye guideline just so I'm not drawing one eye way down here and one eye way up here. It just helps me. So I'm gonna jump all the way off to the side. I'm gonna make one circle here. And then I'm gonna jump all the way off to the side over here and make one circle here. I'll make it a little bit bigger because he's got those cute little adorable big eyes. So then I'm gonna jump in the middle and I'm actually gonna curve this downward. So let's start giving more details to his eyes. From this eye here, I'm just gonna draw one pupil iris area here. It should take up the majority of the white part of his eye. Same over here, make this nice and round. Then we're gonna take up the majority of this eye as well. Excuse. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna jump in the middle and I'm just going to go ahead and round off the top of his nose in between his eyes. Alrighty, so from the nose in the middle of his face, I'm just gonna leave this little curve for that little indention. And then let's start forming around his eyes a little bit more. So I'm gonna make this a good final line for the outside of the white part of his eye. And then I'm gonna jump up here, go up, and I'm kinda gonna make a bridge going over. So it's kind of like his eyebrow in a way, but it just gives him a little bit more personal features to his face. So that's like his little eyebrow here. Same over here with the white of his eye. Gonna make that final line around the white of his eye. Then I'm gonna jump on this side, go up, and then down into the middle of his face. Make that nice, even. All right. Then I'm gonna jump off to the side right here, bring out that side of his face, same over here, you're just gonna bring out this part. It's like a little bit of his face and his chin. So after I bring out this side and this side over here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna curve this straight down into his neck. Same over here, you're gonna bring it out, bring it out, and then you're just gonna make this nice and round going into his face. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna create his little cute smile. So you're gonna start from the corner up here you're gonna make this little corner here, and then you jump over here and do the exact same thing. Like it looks like almost like dimples in a way. All right, so you're gonna go down. You're gonna keep this close to the top where his nose, where we marked off his nose. So we're gonna go down and slowly go across 
You're going to curve up into his nose. So you see how he went up, down, up into his nose, and then back down. Curve up, and then down. We're going to go all the way over here. Curve up, and you're going to go back in. So you see how it curves up? Make this a little bit straight, and then it curves in. So it goes oop, oop, up, and in, like that. You can see a cute little, he looks like a little frog, like he was a salamander. So on his little nose, you're just going to make a final indention up here, and you're gonna make a little nostril here, and a little nostril here. And here's that little salamander. All right, so. He has ginormous eyes when it comes to the pupils. So the pupils are gonna be extra big and you're just gonna kind of build it off the side. So you're gonna make this really, really big and make a really thin iris. So he has a pretty blue iris, but big, thick pupils. Jump the same over here, gonna jump off to the side. So we're jumping inside that little marked off area. Jump in here. All the way in and you're gonna just leave a little itty bitty shine here and a little itty bitty shine here Make that a little smaller. okay and you can fill it in and then we have his big old cute pupils underneath Bernie's little eyes we're just gonna give him like you know typical little indentions in his skin as his little eyes okay right, so we're gonna go down here off to the side and just bring this down too Make this nice and thick up here. Bring out that little eyebrow part of his skin out just a little. Bring that in. And make this flow into each other just a little bit more. You can actually go ahead and get rid of this part and this part. Just round this in a little bit more, make it flow a little bit more. There we go. Alrighty, next, so we're bringing down his neck. Bring it down. And you're gonna have kind of like this part of his skin that's that darker blue, so it's gonna go into his leg. And you have a good indention right here. And I'll show you how to shade him a little bit more unless you don't wanna color him in. So this part, you're gonna bring in, kind of give it more of an hourglass look. So you bring in that part of his neck poke out his chest just a little bit and go into his arms. So let's start with finishing off. We're gonna go back for his skin, so we're marking off the places of his skin. So that's a dark blue and he has a light blue belly and up to his face. So let's start with leg number one. This leg can see right out in front so you're gonna bring it down you're gonna keep that overall roundness bring down this side bring out one little toe and make another little toe I'm gonna kind of just round it off just a little to help me round off this part and then you're gonna round off this little toe So he doesn't have claws, he has, no, he kind of doesn't really have claws, but he has like claw looking feet. Now for this leg, we're gonna get a little bit more indention because we can see more of it. So we're gonna kind of round off the top that we made that circle, round it off just a little bit, and then you're gonna jump inside. You're gonna bring down this part, you're gonna go out. So you see, bring it down, out. Then you're gonna round it in. 
And I'm gonna jump off to the side right here. So this part where we have it rounded out, you're actually gonna bring down this part, bring it in, then go out. So circle in, and then we're gonna make his little toe. So you see it's a little bit more of a defined look to his leg. And you can actually go ahead and get rid of that top part of that circle. But you wanna keep the sides. And now for the bottom down here for his toe, same thing. You wanna kinda of keep it on the same level so it doesn't look like his legs are on all kinds of different levels. So I'll start with making my little rounded top. Make a little toe here, little toe here, and then a little toe here, and a little toe here. So you see I just round that off itty bitty toes. Then for this part of his legs it's kind of like on a different level so his back leg so it looks like we're seeing more of this side because it's coming towards us a little bit more and these legs are gonna be on a different level but we can kind of see his little toes over here. Alright so we can kind of see his little paw in the back so we're just gonna make a little bit of a toe I don't know what salamander's feet are called, so I'm just gonna call it a paw. Cause he looks like a puppy dog, and he reminds me of little Rosie. All right. So we got two little toes in the back. And then this side over here, you're gonna jump to the back of him. So coming off from his butt, you're gonna go down, out. So go out, round it up. Go in, and you're gonna round this part. So you're gonna round that off back here, because that's where his little toes are gonna go. Nice rounded bottom to that leg. Then you're gonna bring up this part, go back into his body, and you're gonna kinda give an indention over here of his back leg. So then these little toes, you have the rounded off part, you're gonna bring out this toe, this toe too, off this toe and then round off this toe make his belly nice and round because he's super cute already and then you're gonna jump up we're just kind of kind of define his back a little bit more so from his neck here you're gonna go in and round that off. For his tail, you wanna make this flow a little bit more. So from the bottom of his belly, I'm gonna go up into his tail, make that match a little bit more. Go out and then back in. And there's Bruni's body. Now Bruni has purple markings all over him. You can't really see too much of it in this particular image, but he has a little bit of purple here and a little purple here and a little purple here and a little purple here. And we really can't see this part on his back because of his fire spirit markings. So for his markings, I said that his belly and the top, the under part, of his chin is a light blue and I'll go ahead and mark that off for you. To shade him just a little bit, I would kind of go underneath and just shade like right here instead of giving those harsh lines, unless you want to give that that harsh line. Kind of go underneath his little head, under here.
bring that under there and I would just kind of shade in his belly then jump in and go over that again just so it blends a little bit well not a little bit well a bit a little bit better there we go Very nice and dark he's got super bright blue eyes And there you guys go. There's how to draw Bruni from Frozen 2. I hope this helped and I hope you guys have seen Frozen 2 now that it's available to watch everywhere. And I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye!